before the mission, um, I remember that I was at BYU. I was kind of just studying, and I remember that one day I was reading the Book of Mormon, and I was trying to decide if it was time for me to go on a mission or not, because a lot of girls go right when they're 19, and some sometimes it's right for them to go then, and sometimes a different time. So I didn't know if I needed to leave right as I turned 19 or if I needed to wait, but I remember that I decided to wait a little bit. And But one day I was reading the Book of Mormon, and I can't even remember what story it was, but I remember just being overcome with joy. And I thought of all the people in the world that don't have this source or, or fountain of joy that I can find that when I read the Book of Mormon. And so I felt the need that I needed to go share this with other people. And so that's when I knew that I needed to serve a mission. And it wasn't anything big, but just it was a good thought. And so as I started my process, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't even tell my parents that I was going to start this process. But I started to, to just work on my mission papers with my, with my bishop. And, and then I told my parents. And as I kept preparing, um, I kept getting different confirmations that it was right for me. I would go to the temple and I would find a Book of Mormon in Spanish or something or a name that was from Chile. And I knew that the, my call was inspired. I knew it was where God needed me to be. So that helped me a lot even during the mission because everybody goes through a point where, where you feel like you're not, you're not doing enough or maybe you're not, you kind of have doubts that, that Satan will put into your mind. But if you have a, a testimony that you're supposed to be there, it'll help you fight those. And so I had that opportunity to be able to think back of that time where I knew for sure that I needed to be there.